What is going on guys welcome back to another Android application development video in Android Studio. In this video we are going to learn how to create a simple quiz application in Android. So at the end of this video we are going to achieve this. This is my quiz application. We have total question 4 and we have question over here. If I will select this answer I can submit it. I will submit it. So I passed the quiz and the score is also displayed and we click on restart. It will restart the quiz. So let's get started. Select new project. Select empty activity. Give the application name. My quiz application. Select marshmallow and click on finish. So our project is loaded successfully. Let's go to activity main.xml and start designing. So click on split over here and remove this hello world text view. Change this constant layout to relative layout. First we will add the background to this relative layout. I will add teal color so it will be like this. Then we will add a text view. Wrap content, wrap content. Text will be like total question. Whatever the number will be. Center in horizontal true and text size 20 dp we will give id to it total question below this we will add a linear layout for all the answers so width will be match parent height will be wrap content inside that linear layout we will add all the answers so orientation i will give vertical i will add the first button width match parent height wrap content so this button we will put it in center so linear layout we will put it in center center in parent true so this will be our first button so we will give a margin about 5 dp background tint i will give as white text i will give as answer a for now and text color will be black i, I will give the id for this id will be answer a for now now let's copy this and create three more buttons over here. I'll paste it below this. So I'll make four buttons. ID will be answer B, answer C and answer D. Text will be also answer C, answer B and answer D. So in this way we have all four buttons. We will add question over here. So let's go above linear layout and add a text view for question. Width will be match parent, height will be wrap content. Text will be for now this will be the question text color will be white text size we will give about 24 dp and it will come above this linear layout but we have not given the id so we will give the id for this linear layout that will be choices layout and this text we will be above choices layout text alignment we will set it to center and we will give some margin about 20 dp this will be our question and this will be our answers let's add id also so id of this will be question and also text style we will set as bold so it will be bold now we will add a submit button over here so let's go all the way down and add a button match parent wrap content id we will give as submit button text we will give as submit and we will put it below choices layout so it will go down and we will give some margin top about 20 dp or 40 dp now let's give padding to overall layout so let's go to this relative layout and give padding about 24 dp it will get padding from all the sides now our layout is almost ready total question we have given id and text view also we have given question and answer a answer b answer c and answer d submit a submit button now let's run this application and check whether it is looking good or not now our application is running and it is looking good we have to remove this action bar this is not looking good so let's remove this action bar from resource values themes on themes change this dark action bar to no action bar on both the xml so it will remove that now it is looking good so let's write the code for this now close all this 
so before writing the code in main activity let's write questions and answers so i will create a model class which will be question answer where we will write all the question and answers so first we will make the array of string for questions public static string question where we will write all the question and for options or choices also we will have 2d array so that we can have four choices in each question so i will make 2d array and we have to write correct answers also so let's create one more string array where we will write correct answers so in this way we will write question choices and correct answers so let me write it fast demo purpose i have written three question which will have four choices and correct answer are first one is google second one is notepad and third one is youtube so in this way we will write you can write many number of questions and answers so now let's go to main activity and create reference for all those view we have created in xml so first one is text view So let's set the ID of those. Total question view is equal to find view by ID r dot id dot. So in this way, we have referenced all the views we have created. So now let's set on click listener to all those buttons. So for that, I will implement this activity with view dot on click listener. So whatever button we click in the view, it will implement that. I will implement methods on click method. Okay. So this is our on click method. Whatever the button is clicked, it will call here. So let's set on click listener to all those buttons. Now we will need some variables. So let's declare those variable like integer score, which we will set zero at first integer total questions, which we will get from this question answer questions length. So question answer dot questions dot length. So it will get the total questions and we will also get the index current question index so that we can keep track of that first will be zero and a string selected answer what the user has selected we will initialize it as empty string so these all thing we need so when application is loaded let's set to total question text view dot set text total questions total questions so it will show total questions over here after this, we have to load all the question and answer over here. So for that, we will create a separate method. So I will call that method as load new question and I will create a method over here. Void load new question. So in this method, what we will do is in question text, view, we will add the question which we will get from question answer class dot question index. We will send as current question index. So it will send current question index at zero, which will get the first question. So we will, we are setting first question over here, whatever the current question index is according to that, we are setting the question same for answer. We will do answer a dot set text question answer dot choices. We have first index will be current question index for answer a, we will give zero so that it will get first answer. So we'll do it for all B, C and D B will get second answer. C will get third and D will get fourth. In this way, when we run the application, it should load the first question and answer. 
so yes as you can see our first question is loaded and all our first answer is loaded we have not set on click but our question and answer are loaded successfully and total question is also 3 so now we will set on click for all those buttons so inside on click we will get a button first clicked button we will name it we will get this button as view we will check if clicked button dot get id equals to equals to r dot id dot submit button if user has clicked submit button else we will go here it means user has clicked choices so choices button clicked so when choices button are clicked we will check whether it is correct answer or not so for that we have created selected answer in that selected answer we will put the string whatever it is in the button so clicked button dot get text dot to string so whatever the button is clicked it will come under selected answer and we will set the color of this selected button so set background color color dot uh, magenta so what will happen whenever user will select any answer it will set that answer to selected answer and clicked button whatever the button he has clicked it will turn into magenta if one answer is clicked second answer will also turn into magenta so to remove that let's set every button color to white so answer a dot set background color let's set it to white so all the buttons will be white whenever the button click and the only clicked button it will change into magenta color so now in submit button what we will do is we will load next question so for next question we will change the current index it will increase the current index and we will just load the new question so load new question will load the questions and answer according to the index and also if it is correct answer we will increase the score so score is zero for now so we will increase the score if it is correct answer so how to do that we have selected answer already over here so selected answer dot equals if selected answer is equal to whatever the question answer dot correct answer is there according to that index we will check so it will check for correct index over here if selected answer is this it will return true over here and we will increase the score by one so in this way whenever the submit button is clicked it will load new question and if it is correct answer it will increase the score and if it is other choices button it will change the selected answer to whatever the button is selected so let's run it and test it so whenever i click on any button it will change into magenta color so selected answer is apple now so i will click on submit it will go to next question so it is loading next question again i will click submit again i will select and click submit app crashed because there are only three question and if we increase this current question index after three also it will crash so for that we will check over here if current question index it will start from zero so if there are three question it should go till two only so if it is goes for three like if it is increased and goes for three it means there are total questions three only we will finish the quiz and we will not set another question so for that we will create a method so for now finish quiz and we will return from here so that we will not load another question so we'll create this method finish quiz so we will write something over here on finish quiz on finish quiz we will show a dialog where we will show the score so for that let's see the pass status first string i will create a string pass status i will set as empty string for and i will check if score is greater than if the user score is greater than total number of questions 60% so if user had scored more than 60% then we will set it to passed else we will set it to failed so if user has scored more than 60% we will set it to pass otherwise failed so we will show this pass fail and score in the dialog so for that we will show the dialog new alert dialog dot builder will pass this as context we'll set the title for that dialog title will be pass status we'll set a message that will be our score score we will set and also out of total question so it will show score out of total question also we will set a button where we will restart the quiz so i will set the button name as restart and it should restart the quiz for that i'll use this lambda and i will make a method for that restart quiz and also i will set this cancel level as false so user can't cancel this dialog and i will show at last so this restart quiz we will create a method over here restart quiz 
in restart quiz what we will do is score we will set it to zero current question index also we will set it to zero and load new question we will call the method so load new question will load the first questions so let's run the application and test so it's running let's select all the correct answer for now google i will select submit I'll select notepad i'll select youtube i'll submit it application crashed so let's see on log cat what it shows exception array index out of bond length 3 so, so we'll click on this so here we have array index out of bond because we have increased the current question index and later we are checking the score so let's cut it over here and paste it before current question index increased so that first we will check the score and then only we will change the current question index so let's run it again now i will select all the correct answers google notepad and youtube so yes i have passed and score is 3 out of 3 so let's check it restart button also when we click on restart so first question is loaded so i will select wrong answer now so i have failed because i have scored 0 out of 3 so in this way you can add any number of question let me add one more question if you want you can add any number of question so i'll copy the same question and who owns the apple i will do i'll copy the same answers and answer correct answer will be apple so in this way you can add any number of question let's run it so yes now my total questions are four so let's select answers any answers so this is our fourth question i'll select apple so i am failed i have scored two out of four so you can add any number of questions like this so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button see you in the next video bye bye